a tribute to our pastor. What a marvel and blessing it is when God gives a man a desire for the pastoral office, gifts him to meet the needs in the church with the word of God and wisdom, with affirmation from the body of Christ and opens a door for him to lead and serve in the church. Then he knows he is called to serve. On April 15th, 2018, Reverend Willie B. Tobias Jr. was installed as pastor of New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. Thank you, Pastor Tobias, for accepting the call. Over the past year, our church family has been the beneficiary of your steadfast vision, inspired by God, driven by faith, and empowered by the Holy Spirit. We as a church prayed fervently, and God answered our prayers and called you, Pastor Tobias, to New Mount Zion. We have all been inspired by your scriptural sermons that have uplifted our spirits, shaken us out of complacency, and drawn us closer to Christ. With God at the wheel and moving through you, souls are being won over to Christ. As you would say, ain't nobody mad but the devil. We have been rejuvenated by your vision for the church to have a positive image that influences community life through involvement in ministries to assist the poor and needy through community outreach. While bridging the gap between church and community leadership. We applaud the implementation of the youth Bible study, promoting spiritual growth in our young people, our precious gifts. So we bring tribute to you today, Pastor Tobias, for your faith, your humility, and your service. For a leader's faith is what we will follow and always remember. Steadfast, unmovable, always seeking the face of God. In his promises, knowing he'll come through for you every time, and standing in the midst of, of calamity, nothing could shake you, nothing could move you. Reverend, this your boy. Man, look, congratulations to you and my sister Monica, my two nieces, man, Taylor and London, to the new Mount Zion family. Now, I got to be honest, the real video we sent you, it just didn't work out. Me and Sister Walker was on there on the beach, but that's a whole nother story. Man, congratulations. Tell Pops, 
and mom, I say hello, and my sister Jackie and everybody, we say hello. Congratulations, man. Your first year, you've been blessed. New Mount Zion is blessed. I love your bro. And in the words of CMB, you know what it is, them Christian-made brothers, Reverend! <laughs> is it? Tobias, my friend and my brother, man, you know I am honored to be able to congratulate you on your 10th anniversary, my bad, your first year anniversary. Man, look, you know I am certainly blessed just to be a friend of yours and just to know you and my sister Monica. And Tobias, I want to say to you, man, I wish you the best on your anniversary. You know, your first one is just like a honeymoon stage as well. So I want you to, you and Monica to enjoy the honeymoon. And I want you all to just have a good time, man. Man, I wish I could be there. You know, we got to try to do something. Maybe me and Walker need to get together and let his folk come to me next year. And bring all their ties over to me. And then we will leave my church and come and be with you for your anniversary next year. And then next year you can come to me and bring all your members and their ties over here. And then we go to Walker the following year. we got to figure something out like that. Uh, but man, look, I wish you the best. And I say to you, man, just stay on the wall, man. Don't let nothing get you down. And remember, word of wisdom. Don't let the people frustrate you. Why? Because they belong to God. And God's children have no business of frustrating you. Love on them, but don't fall in love with them. Man, stay blessed. And look, man, make it do what it do. I'm out of here. Congratulations to you, Pastor Tobias, on your first year anniversary. I am excited for you. I've watched you through the years, and I want to tell you that you are a wonderful young man doing a wonderful job. Continue to trust God, believe in God, and be the best you that you can be. And God will lead you to where He wants you to be. Be blessed and continue to trust God. That, a leader's faith, it's what we're